The Ellison S. Onizuka Memorial Award is presented to a nominee who significantly increases the public's appreciation and understanding for the heritage of Asian and Pacific Islanders. This year's recipient is from California. Hi, I'm Eric Hines, president of the California Teachers Association. I've met a lot of people in California who wear more than one hat. It seems to be part of our DNA, but I know no one who does more and who's accomplished more than producer, reporter, businessman, philanthropist, educator, anchorman and activist, Richard Louis. When they first see Richard Louis, many people think, I know him, and maybe they do. From his job as news anchor at MSNBC or NBC News, perhaps they saw one of his many reports when he was at CNN Worldwide. Richard's reports often focus on humanitarian issues that are close to his heart, gender equity, human trafficking, and affordable housing, to name a few. But there are many other people who know Richard Louis because he's one of us. He's the friend who volunteers to help the cause. He's the businessman who teaches his skills to the needy. He's the mentor who believes in bringing up the next generation of leaders. Richard was the first Asian American male to anchor a daily national cable news show in the United States and is one of the most respected voices in news today. When he tells us the heartbreaking story of human trafficking, it comes with years of investigative journalism and hard-earned knowledge, with genuine empathy, and most importantly, with determination. Because Richard knows that shedding light on the evil in this world is one way to initiate its demise. Throughout his career, Richard Louis has been the light and the voice for those causes that need a champion. As both a columnist and a reporter, Richard has concentrated on human rights issues. Richard spends much of his time off the air in the service of others as well. He's a goodwill ambassador to the United Nations in support of UN Women's He for She campaign. He's a longtime global ambassador for Plan International, one of the oldest and most effective international development organizations in the world. Richard promotes Plan's Because I Am a Girl campaign, bringing gender equality messaging to locations around the globe. The Asian community needs this health center. Uh, they need this because the government is, is not paying attention to these underserved communities, and Richard is helping tremendously with this effort. He's a member of the Speakers Program of the U.S. State Department and has been a team member on numerous Habitat for Humanity builds around the world. Richard is also in high demand as a speaker, facilitator, and coach. He brings that expertise to charitable organizations that benefit Asian and Pacific Islanders, to educational institutions, and to nonprofits like the NEA. So if you're out helping people somewhere in the world, you may know Richard Louis. He's the guy next to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Louis. Good evening to all of you, and thank you, Lily. It's quite an evening, isn't it? You've seen the headlines. Emmanuel AME, Freddie Gray, Vincent Chin, Rodney King. When will these great 50 states get it right, you ask? I did not become a journalist to tell these stories yet I've told them way too many times in recent times. 
Until we get it right, I have that responsibility to talk about our country, about you, and about me. These stories about the use of yellow face in a Seattle theater, that is blackface used years before. Stories about the word illegals, that is my immigrant grandparents. And about the poor who cannot afford college or education, that is me as a child on food stamps. Ellison Onizuka was a passionate engineer and an astronaut. One of those whose sacrifice made it better for those after him, like many of us in this room. Just like that elementary school teacher in San Francisco, who was offered promotions at the most coveted schools, but instead she chose the most dreaded, the schools where drug dealer fathers called her from jail to ask about their child, the schools where she arrived early before sunrise and stayed late missing dinner. She was a teacher who said to me, always try. If you fail, try again. And if you fail, still try once more. And that's exactly what she did in her teaching. That teacher is my mother and proud NEA member. And she is why I do my very small part to tell the stories that I do until we get it right. Like my mother, early or late in the day, there is a job that must be done. Thank you.